everyone, I'm Minerva, and I'm here to do a Chimera Project interview with the director of a short film that I wrote, produced, and acted in, Shevolution. So help me welcome the beautiful and super talented Sadie Lopez. Hi. So um, our working relationship and our friendship actually began when we met at our mutual friend Ivan's in Ivan's living room that one day. Ivan, I was looking for directors for Shivolution and Ivan strongly recommended to meet with you. And, and so we did. And I just got this overwhelming feeling that you were the right director. For this project originally i thought that i was there to kind of just look at the script and give my opinion on the script i had no idea that this was going to lead into directing it at all um and right away just the connection that i had to your words and to and to the story just kind of flowed very easy and very naturally to me like i connected to it right away and you know cared about the characters and just I don't know the the mom the protector kind of came into mode when I looked at it and I was like oh maybe this is a good this would be a good thing for me to to do right now. I also wanted a director who was an actor who had a deep understanding of the actor's process and respect the actor's work because as an actor myself I I, I think a lot of this story is told in the acting and I highly respected your work as, as an actor in films like De Loca and Training Day and in TV shows. Yeah, it kind of just fit at that right moment. So anyway, I, wanted, I really wanted to ask you, how does your acting influence your directing? Huge influence. Um, I never went to film school, you know, so most of my experience is being on set. Um, and it's taken years that and, and being around different genres and different um, environments, you know, learning that you don't treat film the same way that you that you treat television. It's a whole different rhythm. And also the difference in actors, you know, you kind of have that that by being in front of the camera, you you personally learn the sensitivity you get to learn. The, the different ways that each individual you know comes on set and what they bring to the table and how they how they work with each other what works and what doesn't work also sometimes you get to observe by being in front of the camera yeah, yeah i really appreciated that you respected us as artists Absolutely. we have our process and me even me and justin had different processes and yeah. you understood that you have the sort of the sixth sense, you know, of mm -hmm. like intuition. I had that great, great experience um, recently with Selena, where Hiro Kamato was very technically savvy. You could see her mind editing and and working and and setting up, you know, especially for like the concert stuff and for you know the creating like the movement and everything of the piece. I admire that so much. It was so cool to watch. Like I learned so much just by observing her. Like I was just trying to soak it all in. And Katina Mora came in and that's our other director. And she was more sensitive. You know, she came more from like a theater background and, mm -hmm. and also like she was more of an actor's director. With her, you saw more of that like, okay, you know, um, it, they would do this emotionally. So maybe we should bring in, you know, this beat. And then, so then it's that whole actor communication, you know, like, yeah, I got you. Okay. You know, this is the rhythm. This is the feeling or whatever. So I would like to ask you, who are your directorial influences? Like which directors do you admire? You mentioned Hiro and Katina. Hiro and Katina. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of the people that, that I've worked with have been huge influences. They've been my teachers, you know, they've been people that have that whether they know it or not, <laughs> have mentored me and I and I've learned from them. Alison Anders, so nurturing, you know, what she the energy she created in her set was so loving and and free and happy and like at least for us that's how what I remember that's what it felt like you know she has this motherly nurturing um 
energy about her just naturally. And that's so important when you're acting because it makes you feel safe and it makes you feel like you, but like you can trust her and you just let go because you don't feel that like making a mistake or not, it not being perfect is going to affect anything that we're all there just to express ourselves. And, and that's the gift that she, that she has and what she gave me as an actor and, and what I learned from her, you know, as a director. Um, and then I've had, oh God, they, they're also different. And, and I'm sure I'm gonna forget some, but the ones that come to mind right now, like Norberto Barba, um, Norberto Barba had like, I was doing this action film with him and he has like, like this, it was this excitement and this love and this, it was almost like seeing a little boy playing with like his favorite toy or being able to to just kind of ride a motorcycle or something like that and another person that gave you that energy and was super special was Quentin Tarantino man when when you were around him you just felt like that incredible energy of like he loves loves I mean at least that's what I got and the most special thing that I got from him is that when he's directing you, he gives you that attention and he gives you that moment, you know, of like connecting with you. But then he's looking at you. It's an energy gift that you get, you know, when he's directing you, you just like pick up on it and the adrenaline goes and bam, you, you just feel like, you know, that's how it's moving. And that was incredible um, to have with him. Joe Schumacher is another person may he rest in peace that was like he was so beautiful to watch because he was this man that was just like earthy you know but also there was that passion and there was like that love for what he was doing when he was creating and so you kind of picked up on that and and he was another director that when he worked with you and I and with him in the audition room and on set he gave you a hundred percent that like like he made you feel comfortable he did he made you feel like like you belong here let's play let's do this you know like like this is the note this is what we're doing and and he would connect with you and that's the most important thing you know if you could create an environment for your actors that it feels safe and feels comfortable it's like a home you know you don't want to walk into a home that you can't touch anything where you're just like, you know, a robot. You want to walk into a home that feels that feels safe, that feels warm, where you can just kind of relax and talk. And and with creativity, you have to have that. And so yeah, so I've had some great, great people that I've been able to observe that were just amazing. I mean, Greg Nava too. Man, he he did the projects he believed in and you felt it and you knew it. You know, he was so passionate and so intense because it was important to him because he loved his projects because he wanted he wanted the best and 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 I trusted him I knew that no matter what I did on camera I was going to end up on screen with the best of what I did he was going to take and he was going to be able to to get that you know and that was fun that felt pretty free to to be creative with him now, if we're talking like other, <clears throat> excuse me, not hands-on um, experiences, two of the people that to me are like, wow, are um, Roberto Benini with Life is Beautiful was just magic, was just, gosh, it was just genius, you know, to take satire and add all of those different elements, you know, to add romance, to add comedy, to add, you know, and, and that was so important when you're dealing with such a serious subject matter, especially one that has been done so many times in so many ways, you know, to have people listen to that, to your story and to have people engaged, you don't always have to shoot and film the obvious and what's written, you know, it's that extra magic, it's that extra you know, rhythm that you can give to it that sometimes, especially the more serious the subject is, um, the more important it is. 
because right. people want to be able to sit through it and and you know and that's why at the end it, it just gosh that's why it's so powerful you know because you went through an emotional journey with him you know when he was talking to his to his wife and the whole you know princess and 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 love that you felt there and then the playfulness with his son and the and even in the worst circumstances to Gosh, be it, able, it was genius um and another one um is cinema paradiso joseph Torre. man ah oh, that movie to me is more personal you know it, it's super special it's my most favorite movies of all time because it's personal. I lived in a small village when I was 12 for two years. And my cousin worked at the local cinema in the village. You know, we I lived across the street from a pyramid. And down the street, two blocks down was the plaza. And the biggest thing in the plaza was a huge yellow church. And we had horse carriages at nighttime, you know, right around the plaza in you can smell like the food of the vendors and, and the kids playing in the playground and being able to get on my bike at like eight o'clock at night and just ride to the plaza real quick and then come back and, and to feel safe. Um, and so that whole magic of a small town, the way he captured that in the flashbacks yeah. was just beautiful and right spot on. And so it's that nostalgic you know, love story that that they wrote to this town, you know, how important your community is. Yeah, how important community is in cinema. You know, that is the core of cinema, that it can take us places, that it could create magic for us, that when we're feeling sad, if we need a little bit of happiness, or if we're feeling like we want to, we want to feel something, we want to feel sad, we want to you know, connect um, and feel what love and feel, you know, or, or even anger or even frustration or even like all of those emotions that are so important and they're all important, you know, um, cinema is magic and we're lucky and that we have that and that we, and that's why Cinema Paradiso to me is the most, my ultimate favorite movie of all time um, because it has all of those elements. It's a love story to cinema. You just gave me goosebumps all over. <laughs> um, so what, what are our significant lessons in directing that I know the joy and the love and the passion for making movies, I think is very important to you. I, I think that, that acknowledging your strengths and your weaknesses ahead of time is very important too. You know, I, I need, when I walk on a set or when I walk, you know, you need to acknowledge what you're going to need and you need to prepare ahead of time because you don't have time to do it when you're on set. You have to, once you're on set, you have to give answers. You can't be full of questions because they need you and you need to lead, you know, your set. And so, so acknowledging that ahead of time and putting ego aside, you know, it doesn't mean that because you put ego aside doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to be confident or you can't be confident and believe, you know, it just means that, that it's okay to be realistic and be like, okay, you know what? Camera work is not, you know, my strength. The technicality of this, of this process is not my strength, you know, but I have someone that does have that that I that that I trust and that that I can communicate with and that is going to work with me and that's why when you choose your DP you know with Joel Loyogan I I was lucky you know I love that guy because he was my right hand guy you know and he and I could trust him because I would tell him Joel you know this is what I really want for this i i wanted to to move like this you know i don't want i don't want this harshness i i need it and he'd be like oh so why don't we do this and this and he goes you know you could cool. come here come look at it you know look how it moves is that what is yeah that's it perfect you know and then i move on and, and then i let him do his thing do you have any bucket list like stories you want to tell with um 
films you want to do, people you want to work with. Yeah, I mean, you always you always have in the back of your mind, oh, I would, it would be so great to work with this actor, you know, to have that opportunity to work with this actor or to collaborate with this, this cinematographer. And I do have that. I'm not going to share those yet because I feel like I still just got here and I got to prove myself a little bit more, um, you know, before I can share that huge bucket list. Um, but it's there and, and I'm open. Um, like I said, um, I feel like in this part of my life, um, in the directing aspect of it, I, I I've just arrived at it and, and it feels good. And, um, and I'm enjoying the process. Thank you so much. I'm so lucky to have you direct my little passion project and to have you as a friend too. And I'm so, I'm so, I feel so blessed. And yeah, we're definitely like, like, you know, in the same page of universe and creating movies. And I'm very excited that I'm on this journey with you. So thank you so much. Same here. I thank you for the opportunity for trusting me. And, um, and especially with this project that's so personal and special to you. Um, it was important for me to guard it and, and honor it and, and make you feel safe and hopefully deliver something that was honest. And, and heartfelt. To me, that was the most important thing. And your passion shows a lot and people feel that too. We just started submitting it to film festivals um, in January of this year. And now we're on official selection number 23. And then we won 11 awards just in yeah. like two months. People are, are seeing it and I'm so happy that that's happening. Thank you, Sadie. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks. Bye.